Seeking to justify the part you play And last What seems a worthless fight To strive To make it any more or less than sure This one is not really one of my favorite Ray Harper songs and mostly I tend to see it as much more of a David Gilmour song than a Ray Harper song. As you probably know this was co-written by David Gilmour and Ray Harper but the way I see it, uh, I mean, I think the, the guitar riff is obviously David Gilmour's idea then the vocal melody just follows the guitar riff so I'm not really sure what Roy's contribution to the song was but he probably wrote the lyrics um, I'm just speculating, maybe I'm being unfair but anyway I tend to see this, one, this song as much more of a David Gilmer song anyway this is one of Roy Harper's most well-known songs and it's a great guitar riff, so let's check it out. And the tuning is drop D tuning. So this is a standard tuning, you just have to drop down the 6th string to D. There's no big uh, benefit from that, except maybe on the, the instrumental bridge, which I'll show you later. Uh, otherwise, since the 4th 5th and 6th strings are mostly opened for the guitar riff you get this 6th string uh, ringing a deeper D note like this so you can play the whole 6th strings uh, otherwise there's not a big difference from standard tuning the way this guitar riff works is very similar to other things that David Gilmer uh, wrote around the same time. Most remarkably, uh, Run Like Hell from Pink Floyd's album The Wall. And that one goes like this.
both songs kind of almost blend into each other because on both songs the fourth, fifth and sixth strings are open uh, leaving a kind of a D drone all along the, the reef and then the, the chord shapes are worked uh, only using the first, second and third strings. In short and sweet's case uh, Roy uses Roy or Gilmer uses um, the D shape and the D minor shape uh, along different sections of the neck and the fourth, fifth and sixth strings are left open so So you're just working on the first three strings. But let's start from the beginning. Uh, the song starts with this riff, with the D chord. D. You lift these two fingers and then D with your little finger on the first string and D again so first shape D second shape so that works as an intro now the main guitar riff uses this D shape on the 7th and 8th frets and the same shape up 2 frets and the D minor shape here on the 10th, 11th and 12th frets and it goes like this First round, second round. So it stretches for a little longer and it ends on this shape, which is the, the D minor shape, on the fifth, sixth, and seventh frets. Okay, first round. Second round. The third round is the same as the first one. And the final round, the fourth round, is... This shape here that we've seen before, you move it down two frets, and finally D. Then there is this transition uh, before the the bridge, the instrumental bridge, that uses this descending arpeggio. is in D the instrumental bridge that uses power chords and goes like this.
So this uses power chords. Uh, basically, you just have to do a bar on the top strings and hit the top strings uh, harder and just brush the the bottom strings which are left open. Mm -hmm.